Right, okay. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? Oh, locate station repress. Right. It's 172 metres away, but it's not a long run. So, we'll just have a little trot over there. Wouldn't it be nice if we could actually, like, crush large things like tanks and uh, camper vans and all sorts of things like that? Which we can't do in the little crusher because... Oh, for God's sake. It'd never fit in there. What's the matter, mate? You having a problem? That was him that said that, not me. <laughs> there we are. There is a stationary crusher. I think the first words out of my mouth when I first had a go at this was, Holy shit, this is good. Alright, 20,000 to buy this. Boom. Go locate the van wreck. After that, it'll be transported to the crusher area. Okay, in big update one, the van wreck used to be over there, halfway across the map. It was a hell of a long run to get there and back. When update 2 came out, they actually moved it a damn sight closer. Thank you, Rebellia. It's now just over here. This is the weirdest wildlife I've ever seen. They have no fear of anything. One van wreck. Press E to transport. Bye bye. All right, Johnny. Time to go back to the crusher area. Indeed it is. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. I tell you, for those of you that haven't seen this, you're going to love this thing. This really is something else. Right. Uh, find van in the stationary press crane. Listen, you can separate the remaining car body parts with a hammer if you want. Not particularly, but okay. If you already got bored of playing with a hammer, run the crusher and get acquainted with the tutorial. Remember, that machine is not easy to operate. But, like with everything difficult in life, it's very rewarding once you get the hang of it. And this one will let you earn lots of money, too. I don't know what's wrong with this fan, but it's got a life of its own, man. Must be a relative of Herbie. Okay, uh... Process scrapping stationary press. Oh, this thing is a thing of freaking beauty. This this really is something else. This, do you know, if you play with dynamic weather effects on, and you get a storm, this is great to like operate the crusher in that. It really is. It's something else. Right. Oh yeah, I've got to go for all this tutorial garbage, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all this. Shut up. Go away. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> The size of this thing. You get various different camera angles on all these. That's the actual crusher itself. This is inside the crusher. Oh, this is really good. I always, uh, I always have this on uh, camera too. I just find everything I do easier that way. Those big scrap piles down there, you can pick those up as well. In fact, you'll soon see because we've got to do some of that anyway. Right, we're looking for that van. There it is. So we're going to hover over it. We're going to drop the magnet down. And pick up the van. Going up. Right, now we're going to run this back. To me, a hopper has always been like um, a square bin that you dump things in. To them, the hopper here is um, a big metal plate you just dump everything on. It has to go onto the hopper. You can't just drop it straight into the blades. 
and that's indicated by the green area so we're just going to drop that there lovely right and the bottom right we've got scrapping hopper 69% it needs to be over 100 so in order to top that up we're going to pick up these little scrap pile down here do you know I swear to god I really want to see them bloody trees gone bane of my existence though. right so we just use the magnet pick up a little bit of scrap go and dump that over here gives us 91% so we need a bit more Right, we've got 113% scrap in there, so let's see if we can make a bale out of this. Just because you've got over 100% scrap in the hopper doesn't mean to say you're going to get 100% of processed scrap. So, we now change to 4. Confirm. And we now put the blades on. Can I get rid of that? That's it. X to turn the blades on, W and S to lift and drop the hopper. There we are. It now says in the bottom right, process scrap is now ready. So Q to crush it. Press D to compact it to a Q. W to lift the door and Q to push the whole lot out. There we go. Look at that for material, isn't that good? Press R to reset the whole thing and wait. If you look in the bottom right of the screen, you can actually see the uh, the long bar pressed actually resetting back into its place. And that's it. Switch back the camera to. Because I know all this, I, um, I'm going to hold I down so I can turn the tutorial for this off. Done. Press F to leave. And we're done. What do you think, Johnny? You like your new toy? Process scrap heaps. There's a lot of them in the crusher area, and whenever you run out of scrap, you can find more heaps for various vehicle wrecks. Transport them to the junkyard just like you did with the van. Of course, you must have enough free space for that in the crusher area. Well, what that basically means is as you're out and about during the world, you'll come across wrecks that tell you send this to the station we cross you. Now you'll find a few things. You'll find camper vans, tanks, and tractors. They could all be crushed. So you had a little bit of extra processed material, like those um, those piles that we picked up. Add those to it until you make a bale and then just repeat the process. It really is a good way to make money. Right, the phone booth. From here on, we'll be using this a lot. Level 9. What's this one? Ah, okay. Right, this is a little old deer. 
that has the pawn shop you're gonna make a stupid amount of money with um, oh god you, you, you're gonna find all sorts of stuff there's like uh, heirlooms, artifacts, uh, whatever you want to call them JJ, you have no idea how lucky you are. Felix arranged for you to meet the legend of our underground community. The elderly lady is the most demanding business client you'll ever meet. I'm not kidding. In order to win her trust, you must complete a rather unusual order. I'm surprised myself how unusual it is. She asked for a chair. I know it sounds strange, but she won't buy a thing from you unless you bring her a chair. Well, last but not least, she's very keen on buying valuable items that you can't sell on the scrap market. Right, the reason I'm standing here is because if I pick up that wine bottle, there'll be some more talking, and if you pick them up too fast, you get both soundtracks going over the top of each other. You found what she asked for. Go talk to her. If she approves of your job, you'll be able to sell valuable items at her pawn shop in the future. Right, back in update one, she used to be way over there, under a bridge. They've actually moved her a lot closer, and she's just up at the back here. There's a doddering old deer just over there. Quite a disturbing looking creature and all. Hello. Yes. Yes. Felix has a job for you in a new area. He'll tell you where to go. Be sure to bring a car, a cart, and an empty backpack with you. Right, okay, good. So that is almost the pawn shop unlocked. Not quite, but almost. Uh oh, I've got to talk to him first. How Hello. can I help you? Right, locate fast travel board. This is one of the real delights in this game, depending on how roleplay you want to play this. The fast travel board, it does exactly what it says. It allows you to get from one location to another pretty much instantly. Right, large scrapyard. So, there's the crusher, which is what we did the cars in. There's the big crusher. This is the one we just uh, did the van in. Scrap metal market. Uh, have we been there yet or not? I can't remember. Pawn shop, which is what we're trying to unlock now. Bob's area we haven't been to yet. And the large scrap yard is the one it's asking us to go to. So as we teleport ourselves there, it will also move all our vehicles there as well. Because there's a little garage there. This is a nice little feature, it saves us having to drive everywhere. If we look behind us, there's all our vehicles. So, it's asking us to locate a wreck, so for that we're going to need the tow truck. And the large scrap yard is this little road up here on the left. Believe me, as many hours as I've got this game, as many times as I've been here, I can still get lost in here. It really is, it, it's literally a maze, it really is. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to change the driver angle. There we are. Right. We've got to pick up two wrecks from here. So there's the first one with an engine. Uh huh. Sudden right. And it's not that one. It's that one there. Another one with an engine.
Right, this time we can't use the fast travel board because we've got wrecks here, so we have to drive all the way back over these. Okay. And this is where you can all feel free to insult my dodgy driving. I mean, I drive the best I can, but it's really not, not brilliant. Like that car I smacked into in an earlier episode, I did not do that intentionally. Sunshine, put your foot down. Oh, come on, move it or lose it. Uh, get out of the way. Excuse me, maniac coming through. Oops. I don't know whether the uh, traffic in this game is a help or a bloody hindrance. I was so, so used to driving around in this with no traffic. Mind you, if I tried driving properly as sort of like a maniac, it would probably make a big difference. There we are, plus one items, lost and found. That is a pawn shop item. These are worth really good money, really good money. Oh, slight deviation. I want to see how my workers get on while we're here. And it looks like that we've made our first little bit of money in our own scrapyard here. Do you remember this? Area A. There we are. Check the fees tab. There's our little worker up there, still looking lost and bewildered. But he's made us some money. So we'll go to the fees tab, just there, and he has made us 47,898 bucks, so click on that. We don't get that money though, it goes towards paying off that 2 million debt. So when you've got all these areas open, I, I tell you what, you, you make some ridiculous money in my main game, I'm, I, I'm a millionaire in this. But then again, I do have all these open. It took a long time to do, but it's enjoyable. Development is flashing because it, every time they do a little bit, they take a little bit of the current stock. When that drops down so much, you can always stock up again to full, right? Uh, there are more bits in here that you can open, but of course that one's going to cost 7500 and that's more than we've currently got. And this one, see that little red icon there? That can only be done by using metal sheets that you have to make. And you do that here. That is your own little forge there. So you have to break the scrap down in this little scrapper here. Transport it over here. And then use those three trays to make sheets which get stored on that pallet. That is what that little weird red icon is. And that is something else I've noticed on the forums that people like, uh, why won't this work? Because you have to make them. Right. I'm going to make that just.
left turn glide. Whoop. This is why I don't have a license in real life. Yeah. Will you stop waving at me, you weird freaky geezer? Why am I not seeing Quest Press Q? There we are. Deliver Rex to unloading station. your vehicles in parking lot not just yet I'm not because I want uh, I've got to bring my four no I'll, I'll bring the lorry back actually I've just got to find a space to be able to put this big old bugger there we are right let me just move this into position As we've got two wrecks sitting there with engines in, we're going to need to empty the backpack so we can pick up all the items in there. And that's two more engines we get to renovate. So let's get one of these cars into the engine unload bay. We've done this a couple of times already, so we know what we're doing. what I said about picking up the scrap these really do add up so we'll move that over put that car back in its parking lot and we'll do the same with the other one Perfect. Lovely. Uh, crush all vehicles. So I've got to crush these two. Okay. I can do this. a lovely cup of coffee. Oh yeah. You know, it's been that long since I've been this far back, I can't even remember what's after this bit.
Oh yeah, we're still working on uh, unlocking the pawn shop, aren't we? We should get to see that very shortly. I think that's after this, actually. I think. Yeah, I think we are because we're not far off level 10 now. So just to remind you of the tutorial, so you know if you do get stuck on something you can always have a read through this and think what am I doing? So you never really get lost. Yes, yes, this is the pawn shop bit. Talk to Lucy. Hmm? Man, that, 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 boy, she is so reserved as Lucy is. <laughs> we need her to get in touch with the old lady. Yeah, the same old lady that wanted us to find her a chair and some wine. <laughs> As you already know, she runs an underground pawn shop. Though she didn't really take to us, we now have another shot to charm her. Start by finding a gold bar. Like my grandfather used to say, if you want to bribe a woman, do it with something shiny and expensive. <laughs> right, I had a little thought there. I was going to actually get the 4x4 and drive down there, but considering it's quite a way, what we'll do is we'll use the fast travel board just pretend we're taking the bus. Marvellous. Again, there's another garage here with all their vehicles in there for when we need them. The camper zone is just down there. Right, let's not try not get run over by vehicles. Would be a good idea. When you see these icons and pallets like that, do you remember that blue car that we broke down? That's what these are, these Zengas. So if you clear that and you've got a free space, you can actually pick up another Zenga, strip that down and earn even more money. Bear in mind you can only have one vehicle at a time though. Listen, JJ, I just found out the old lady is fond of antique sculptures find one for her. Lucy says it isn't that far from where you are. She must have a crush on you, you handsome devil. <laughs> uh, no thank you, she looked completely and utterly spaced out. Right, uh, the uh, marble sculpture, there we are. The old lady is a bit old fashioned. Throw valuable items in a basket and go chatter up. She'll give you cash. That she will. Let's see what we get for these two. We're currently on seven thousand two hundred dollars, so let's see what we actually get. Right, as you can see, another zone that's locked. So if you try and run into it, you can't go anywhere. This is our lost and found uh, container. So every time you see those uh, messages come up you know, lost and found, plus one item, they will always be dumped in there. This is the basket they're on about for the old lady, so what we do is we've got to put the gold bar in and the marble statue. Now it's unlocked, now we talk to her. Now we have full access to the pawn shop. Yeah! Yes. Yeah, look at that. we now got 14,000 these are worth some good money. So as we've got a couple of items in there, we're just going to take these out and stick those into the basket as well. Go and chat the old deer up again. <laughs> there we are, 15 and a half grand we've got to our name now. Let's try a deal with the old lady I just did. I find abandoned camp. Why are you sending me back here? I just I did. Say the yeah. JJ, if I may give you a piece of advice, try to stick to the beaten paths, roads, and alleyways. Remember about signposts. This will help you find out where you are and where you're going. All right, visit camper zone. Right, this is the big camper place. It's... It, it's not that daunting actually when you first come you think oh my god I don't know where anything is 
I got a tip that you can buy a scrap conveyor belt at a decent price. What's really good about this belt is that it transports found items all the way to the scrap market's door. Make sure to buy it and make good use of it. Yeah. That's a conveyor belt. The only trouble is there's one major problem with this. Forty thousand dollars to buy that. Forty thousand. That is a lot. And that's more than I've got. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make some money. Uh I was hoping we'd be level ten by now and we could have gone and sold that Zenga car that we um renovated which would have given us some money to buy that plus some uh, some nice pocket change too but we haven't so we're just gonna have to go and what am I gonna do oh I've got an idea I wonder if I can do this yet oh please tell me I can do this this is gonna be good Right, we're going back to our upgrades computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at character upgrade. Now, down here, which one is it? That one. Epic, which is the one we want. Ah, oh, damn, it costs 25 grand. Bugger! That is the one we want. That is the auto renovation. You can renovate five items every 15 minutes automatically. Um, right, let, let me see what I can do about this. Hold on. I don't really want to get rid of the aluminium. Actually, to be honest, I don't really want to sell any of that. That's good prices. Uh, where's, uh, there we are. Let's have a look in the vehicles and see what we've actually got. So first of all, we'll have a look at the 4x4, see what's in here. That is all scrap. And what's in the truck? Alright, we've got more scrap in there. Ah, I don't think I've actually shown this yet. No, I haven't. No, I haven't been there yet. Right, hold on. Let me just uh, let me just sort my life out here for a minute. This is what I want to show you. B. That's renovation, that's all renovation. Scrap and scrap. Right. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to jump ahead slightly and we're going to go to the scrap market and we're going to get rid of all this junk. It's just on the other side of the bridge so it's not far. There's a particular little mechanic with uh, stuff that you load on these vehicles that I really, really do like. Now the one thing I enjoy most about this game is the fact that the open bed truck, you can actually throw things into it, drive it around and actually manually unload them. But anything that you actually put in, like say for example from your backpack into the truck storage itself, has a really, really nice little mechanic that I, I'm really fond of. Let me just change the angle. So if we back our 4x4 up to the scrap market door, which is that there, we'll open this, try open the package, and if we open the back of this, 
click on each one of these items just like that turn around and there it throws it all in there for you how cool is that and just close it add to stock after sending the raw materials to the scrap market, you can wait until they reach a favorable exchange rate. Do yourself a favor and don't sell anything for cheap. Take it as a piece of advice from a good friend. <laughs> and off it goes into the scrap market area. Okay, and that's how you use this. This is really, really good. Really good. I do enjoy that. Uh, right, another thing we can do in order to make a little bit of extra cash is... I've just hit a fire hydrant, hang on. I'm just going to park this over here out of the way because... I want the truck. So we'll click on the truck, see if we can find some way to stick the damn thing. I mean, it's a big old bugger, so there we are. Right, what we're going to do now, around the world you'll find various little piles like this. If you click on them, they give you items. So it's a case of just looking on the ground, trying to find these items, pick them up. If you can't see them clearly, just press the middle mouse button and highlight the area. And it should show up anything you may have missed. There is another lost and found item that's just been added to the pawn shop. The traffic can be a bit of a pain in the ass in this game because as you as you can see they won't drive round me. They'll just get in my way and stay there it's, um, it's a little annoying actually there is it there it is you can also have a look in the boot and bonnet of cars see if there's anything in there worth having sometimes you can find pawn shop items even from in these Yes, 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 I'll move me truck, just hang on. They have no patience, these drivers, no patience. Right, when you come across big items like this, if you haven't got any space left in the vehicle to put them in the back, you can always just chuck them in like that. You're going to be awkward now, aren't you? And show me up. Get in there. Oh my god. Did that go in? Now, once you do this, you've got to be very careful when you drive around because these will slide around and if you go around corners or too fast, they'll all just fall out. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but if you do have a lot of items, it's also very useful. Now, when you upgrade this truck, you will have a closed truck, okay? So if you like doing it this way, I really suggest you don't upgrade the truck until uh, until the very end. I mean, once you're a millionaire, yeah, you ain't going to worry about these little bits. But for now, that will come in very useful. Right, see what I mean about things moving in there? So we're going to drive 
got to drive carefully just so they don't come flying in. Note to self, do not drive like a bloody maniac. Alright, same again, look for piles and whatever's out and about. Pick them up. Hang on, why didn't that one work? What am I doing? Why won't that let me in? There you go. Just having a little think about it. Places like this can be pretty good at finding uh, pawn shop items. Not every vehicle has them, so you may have to look out and about a bit. When you search a car and there's lots of scrap, use your cart and your backpack, then head to the scrap market. Yeah, your definition of mine and lots of scrap is very, very different. You see what I mean about the vehicles? They've all piled up behind me now. Has that thrown that all over the damn floor? Oh, it has. Got four items. I don't know where that other one went. Not to worry. Do you know, every time I play this, I always find pawn shop items. Yeah, I decide to make a bloody YouTube video, and there's no pawn shop items. Unbelievable. It just knows man, it just knows. Right, I think that should more or less kind of about be enough for the time being. So we'll get this lot down to the scrap market. slowly because I really don't want that lot bouncing out and going everywhere. Ooh. Shiny. When you're trying to make money early, every little bit helps it really does. Ooh, that's a renovation part. Have you got something nice? There's something in there. There, start a motor. Have I blocked up the traffic again? I don't know what's going on, but as you can see, they're, they're actually stuck down there. That happens quite a lot, but never mind. That's not our problem. Nice and easy does it. Easy, easy. Now, something shot off. Ah, oh, come on, behave. Don't be doing this. Where'd that go? Come here, you. Get in there.
Right, same as we did last time. Open it, launch everything in there. This one's going to be slightly different because we've put loose bits in. Uh, so let's be careful what we're throwing out because we don't want to get rid of anything that we can renovate. Four more bits. Right, so we want to keep the renovation stuff on us. Let's put it all over there. So all we've got to do now is do a running jump. Try and get into the back of this. There we are. And now we can just manually launch all this in if I can pick it up. I really do like the way that you can actually store stuff in the truck and transport it and also put loose bits in. I am hoping at some time that they'll do something about the backpack and the truck limits that we can hold a hell of a lot more items than just 24 because in this game that's a very very small inventory space for the amount of stuff that you'll actually find per area. So I'm hoping that somewhere along the line they will actually increase that. Right, that's another renovation. Oh yeah, I can't pick up any more, can I? I've already got four. Alright. That's that's fine. Is that all of it? Yep. we can get that motor unit here back in one piece without it going flying off somewhere. I should have mentioned this earlier but I've only just thought about it. For some strange reason in this game can't just log out and everything will be where you left it. For some reason it doesn't work like that and I really don't know why. There is a special place that you can, that you have to put stuff that you want to keep. Otherwise when you come back it will be gone. Shit. What? What's... Come here you, got ya. And they call it the cubby. So anything you want to keep for when you log out it has to go into the shed here all right as long as it's in here it should still be in here when you when you log back in i have absolutely no idea why they have made this like this i personally would have done it very differently i would have just left everything wherever it is so it's still in the same place when you log back in but that's how they've done it, so there you are. Right, I want 25 grand, so I've got to make 10,000. So, what I'm going to do is head back down to the small crusher area. This is going to take far too long to do this uh, bit by bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a junk man interface. And I will make the 25,000 I want. So I can get rid of all these little ones. That's 18,000. Fabric. Copper. 22,000. And I'll get rid of the brass. Right. Okay, we've now got it. So back into the upgrades. Click on that epic A there. Go across. And bingo. 
Right, that was very expensive and we've lost quite a bit of money on that. We're down to 1,115, but just before I end this episode, I really want to show you what this does, because this, this is a thing of beauty, this is. This really is damn good. What have I got on me? Nothing. Right, I'm going to pick up five items. One, two, three, four, five. Now this will probably take me about sort of 20, 25 minutes to do all this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump everything in front of me. Like that. This is what the auto renovation does. Pick up an item. Drop it down. Press N and then press tab. Instantly done. And like I said you can do five of these every 15 minutes. Oops, that was M, not N. So, for anyone that's not keen on the renovation aspect, that's how you get past that. How cool's that then, eh? And we've now gone back up to 19,000. See it, isn't it good? Ah, oh, yeah. Right, we still need to make 40,000 for the belt, but that'll have to wait for another episode because I, 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 I don't know how long this one is. I feel like I've been doing this one for a while but that'll all have to wait till episode 4 so I hope you've all enjoyed this oh dear and uh, you take care and I'll catch you in the next one see you later